probably watched a thousand videos on the best books of 2023 so far and this is yet another video i know i'm super late but since becoming a new mother the concept of time has really changed for me if you know you know before i dive into talking about all the books that i loved reading in 2023 i want to first talk about a little bit of reading stats According to Goodreads, I read a total of 51 books in 2023. And the longest book that I read is of around 1,102 pages. It is His Dark Materials by Philip Pullman. Now, His Dark Materials is a collection of all the three books in this entire series. Shortest book that I read is The Tea Dragon Society by K. O'Neill, and this is around 71 pages. I gave six books five stars and nine books four stars. The total number of pages that I read in 2023 is 16,317. Now a little bit of stats from Storygraph. I started the Storygraph account especially so that I could get these stats and I have to tell you I was quite pleased with the statistics that they gave. It's quite useful and insightful in many ways to know about your reading taste and if you want to improve upon it and things like that. This is not sponsored anyways. My top three mood for the year 2023 when it came to reading was adventurous mysterious and dark not surprising at all because these are the three elements that i love in my novels 46 percent of the books that i read were fast paced 44 percent medium and the rest slow paced now the top three genres in 2023 fantasy young adult and mystery i would not consider young adult a genre it's more of a category but since story graph added it in genre okay well another data that is not surprising at all then format 12 percent digital 40 percent audio and 74 percent print which does not surprise me either my most read author was julie kagawa i read five books from her all five books in the same talent series about which i have talked a lot in my previous videos as far as these stats go i don't think i digress from my usual reading taste in 2023 i pretty much stuck to the thing that i love i did not go for a tangent or pick up challenging books maybe i I'll do this this year. I don't know. So much has changed now. This year, I mostly want to read for self-improvement or to entertain myself. Now, moving on to talking about my favorite books of 2023. First, I want to go through the honorable mentions quickly. These are the books that I gave four stars. By no means are these books any less than the books that I gave five stars, but just for one reason or the other, maybe the emotional impact, maybe a little bit in the writing or pacing or predictability, just one or the other reason i'm going to start off with the first book that i've read in the year and going to december <music> The first book that I gave four stars in 2023 was His Dark Materials by Philip Pullman. This series very well could have been my five star read, but it's just that I found the final book in the series a little underwhelming. I've already talked about this book in a vlog, so if you are interested, you can check it out. I will add the link in the description. This is a sci-fi fantasy sort of book where this young girl, Lyra, goes out on an adventure seeking the truth behind the kidnapping of her friend. It is a story with huge world, massive cast of characters and lots of brilliant action adventure sort of thing. Next one on my list, The Enchanted Sonata by Heather Dixon Wahlberg. Honestly, I don't remember much about this book except that it is a nutcracker retelling and I love the feisty main character in the story and the story revolves around a lot of music and delicious things. The writing was beautiful. The third one that I gave for stars girls of paper and fire by natasha non another series that i've talked about a lot in my previous videos i love everything about the series it's got great female characters great bit of world building action and adventure and this is a wife fantasy set in a non-western setup there's so much to love about this series the fourth book that i gave four stars legends and latte by travis baldry i love this cozy fantasy 
fantasy it gave me very warm sort of feeling it's a book which when you listen to you want to have a cup of coffee or a nice pastry or croissant or something of the sort a baked item and i love listening to the audiobook it was very calming very pleasant very cozy another series that i finished as audiobook inferno by julie kagawa it's a series revolving around dragons dragons who can shape shape into humans and also there is this another community there is this secret society that is hunting dragons and there is love between a shape-shifting dragon and human and lots of chaos ensues from there on another series that i've talked a lot about in one of my previous videos you can check it out of course all the relevant links will be in the description another audible exclusive audiobook the weirdies by michael buckley and it is narrated by kate winslet absolutely stunning beautiful quick read about these very weird children who were raised in an awful sort of family very rich but awful sort of family where parents go missing and these weirdies these three kids they have bizarre taste and they end up in an orphanage where one of their teachers tutors falls in love with them and wants to take care of them and the story goes on from there it's a delightful found family sort of story very quick very interesting and very very charming if you enjoyed book like house in the cerulean sea then you might enjoy listening to this book as well last honorable mention on my list is the tea dragon festival by k o'neill it is i believe the second book in the series this is a series of illustrated books revolving around these tea dragons and their caretakers tea dragons are really small tiny forms of dragons and they live coexist with humans the story revolves around separate separate human characters fairies and all other different sort of fantastical creatures it is a story of coming of age finding out who you are going on journeys and it is sweet with such beautiful messaging in it very quick read i highly highly recommend this series Now moving on to the best, the most fabulous, my favorite books of 2023. The order again is of the book that I read first in January, then going to December. Now the first book that I gave five stars is The Stolen Air by Holly Black. Now this is a spin-off series of the Cruel Prince series, which I totally, absolutely loved. The main couple in this book I might actually love more than I love Jude and Cardens. The story takes place eight years after. the battle and the court politics that went around in the original series and this one revolves around Surin and Oak Oak who is Jude's brother a lot of things conspire and Surin and Oak are forced to work with each other however they can't help falling for each other in some way or the other but they still have doubts still court politics lots of traveling and that world building that gives you very forest sort of vibe i love going back into this fairy world i love loved all the trickery and i can't wait for the next book to come out really really soon it is a captivating and charming book that i finished in just a matter of a day love this one my second favorite from 2023 is maybe you should talk to someone a therapist her therapist and our lives revealed by lori this is a non fiction written by a therapist about therapy and also she describes the process of therapy that she goes through her herself this book i tapped it so hard there are so many lessons in this book there are so many things to learn about therapy and about human nature in this book it provides a window in the world of therapy and also it gives insight about human behavior why we do a certain thing and how the life of therapist is not as simple as we might assume it to be and there was just so much to learn this is a book that you should pick and take time savoring it learning it and maybe becoming a slightly little better person or maybe just understanding why we do certain things the way we do it opens a new door into the world of 
therapy and I love, love, love reading it. Recommend it, absolutely. The next book I did not expect to love as much as I did and it is a YA mystery called A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. Now this is a book that has been recommended to me over and over again because of course I love reading mysteries but not so much young adult as much as adult but I was fairly surprised in a brilliant, brilliant way with this book. I did not expect to love the character or in fact to tap this book so much and I love the family dynamics in this book. Basically this book revolves around Pip who is a 17 year old who chooses a real life mystery that happened in her town as her final project in her school. She starts unraveling the mystery behind the mystery and she finds out that the murder that happened and the accused of that murder in her town may actually be innocent and then she is hellbent into proving her theories and thus the plot thickens when mysterious and dangerous things start unraveling. I love the family dynamics in the story, love the main character, love the little bit of yes, no, maybe so subtle friendship slash romance theme that went into it and also the way the procedure was explained, the style in which the story is written. It has notes from her project and then it has the actual story going on. Everything about the story was just perfection. I just regret not reading the series sooner and I'm very very excited to pick the next two books in the trilogy. The fourth fantastic book that I read gave five stars is A Study in Drowning by Ava Reed. It's atmospheric gothic YA fantasy. This one revolves around Effie who is a first year architecture student and she gets a chance to renovate a dilapidated house of her favorite now deceased author. The character Effie, her group growth, her journey was moving, it was touching and the world building, it is atmospheric, airy, it gives out that chilling vibe, perfect book that you can pick in autumn. The writing especially is so so beautiful, every word, every sentence makes so much sense. It's not exactly flowery or it's not exactly lyrical but it speaks to you as if every word echoes, every word has a message in it. And I'm definitely gonna pick more books by this author very very soon. Another book that I loved in 2023 is The Witch Would Not by Olivia Atwater. It is another gothic atmospheric story but it is meant for adults and it is set sometimes in Victorian Europe I believe I may be mistaken. Another story where I love the main character, I love the writing style, I love the pacing, I love the romance and maybe it is hinted that it is going to be a series. I am excited to pick it up. Olivia Atwater's Half a Soul is more popular of a series and that one I have not read which I might pick this year who knows but this one is another fantastically written story and I can't wait to read more from this author this year. The last one is from the Tea Dragon Society series and this is the third and final illustrated book in the series called The Tea Dragon Tapestry by K. O'Neill. This particular issue in the illustrated novel series was the one that moved me the most and that is why it is five star. The rest of the two books in the series also deserve to be read. They are beautifully written, beautifully illustrated, great messaging, heartwarming. It has diverse cast of characters and everything about it is just lovely. Really quick, fast to read and I hope you pick this series up if you're interested into reading illustrated books. If you don't have enough time, maybe pick this up. Have your children read this as well. It's a great one. Okay, so those are all of my favorite books of 2023, which is the one book that you would rank as number one that you read in 2023. Thank you for sticking by. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you all in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.